Welcome back inside my endurance cave. I'm Dave and in the first video I did a calibration in real time with my Peloton row which I just got in December of 2022. You might be able to see in the background I got a Peloton tread. I also have uh, the Peloton original bike. So we got to the trifecta here of all three machines. So I'm all set up with my calibration. I'll put a link below this video to that calibration process if you're new to the Peloton row which I am completely going ahead and uh, start a workout probably gonna do a short one maybe 10 minutes just to see how it looks how it feels and with the calibration process that I learned um, I guess there'll be some red marks within my body showing where I need to work on the correct form all right so it shows the setup replacing the touchscreen metrics holding the handle and so on I'm gonna skip all that I learned about that in the first part. So let's do a software update. I'll do that a little bit later. Let's do something small. Let's do, a, well, I guess we can do a 15 minute beginner row because I'm a rookie at this with Matt Wilpers. All right, so let's go ahead and start this in real time. Enjoy the class and we'll see how this goes. Start it up. Take it out of the dock. Welcome to your first row. Let's go through some of the Peloton's row primary features to help you maximize your workouts. Form Assist will provide real-time feedback on your form by highlighting the areas where you can make improvements. Got it. Shows a form rating at the end with your catch, dry, finish, and recovery. Got some data there. Stroke rate. Average, maximum, just like on the bike and the tread. There's also some pace intensities. Okay. Uh, personal pace target. All new to me. What's your experience with rowing? No experience. <laughs> All right, that's my no experience. So let's, um, one, two, let's go ahead and go two. I'm somewhat athletic. All right, let's go ahead and start. Beginner row, thank you so much for coming. It's gonna be a wonderful class. Have a great time today, all right? So today, we're gonna warm up about five minutes and we're gonna get our main set, our main set. We're gonna do a four minute stroke rate build and then at the end we'll do some intensity work, four thirty second efforts. But have no fear, the first part of the class is gonna be focusing on getting our form down so that we're feeling comfortable with the movement. The second part, we're gonna focus on getting comfortable with our stroke rates. And last but not least, feeling out some different intensities, all right? So it should be a great time. Uh, let's take a look at your touch screen. If you're on the Peloton row, three metrics we're going to focus on today. Stroke rate, pace, and output. Stroke rate, how many strokes you're taking per minute on average. Pace, how fast you're getting through 500 meters. So the harder or faster you row, the faster you get through 500 meters, the lower that split goes. Of course, you have your personal pace targets above that. We'll talk about that towards the end of class. Output, how many watts you're creating when you push away from the foot stretchers here. And speaking of that, let's put that other foot in. Get that strap across the widest part of the foot, nice and snug grab the handle. All right, we are going to start with our warm-up just doing a drill. All right, this a reverse pick drill. Uh, so just grab the handle and at the front, at the beginning of our stroke, this is called the catch. All right, we're going to do just legs. Now I want to do this first because rowing is predominantly a lower leg, or like our lower body driven exercise. So let's do just legs right now, just legs. I want you to feel how much power you have just in your legs. And one thing I want you to realize as we do this, with your arms out, extended, right? Is notice how your seat and your handle moves at the same time, right? Don't open up your back. I want you to keep your back nice and tall. In fact, I want your shoulders a little bit forward from your hips. Think about like a, a one o'clock posture. So we're not laying back. Good, again, think about like 60% of your energy, of your of your power comes from your legs in rowing, all right? So next up, we're gonna go legs and body. Three, two, and one. Legs, body, and lay back. Then body, legs. Legs, body, body, legs. This is for transit. We're getting closer to a full stroke here, but just legs and body, just practice that for a few. Feel the power you're getting from just bringing the body back from your core and lower back. And last but not least, we're gonna add arms in three, two, and one. Legs, body, arms, arms, body, legs. 
Notice how we separate each one of those, and we started with legs. I want you to think about these each separately. Good. So roughly 40% of our, of our power comes from our upper body, 60% comes from our lower body. We're going to flip it, reverse it, and go the opposite direction in three, two, and one. Maybe at the finish. Maybe right here. All right. So let's practice going the other direction here. Just arms first. Just arms first. It's the very last part of our stroke. This is the last movement we do into the finish, the end of our stroke. When you do just arms, I want you to think about keeping your shoulders low. Really try to access your lats. All right, the big muscles that roll on the sides and our back. So sitting up tall, laying back, about 11 o'clock position. Nice. Next, body, and then arms, body, then arms. Beautiful. And last mile, or actually second to last, go half slide. Not full slide, but half slide. Three, two, and one half slide, not full slide. And now we'll go full slide in three, two, and one. Just to see how much length you can get out of every stroke. Very good. So stay here for a, about a minute and just give me some nice, easy strokes. Try to keep your, your stroke rate between 18 and 22. I want to draw your attention to our form assist, all right? Look at your form assist as you're taking nice, clean strokes here. And see how that form assist is doing, all right? I want you to sort of calibrate right now with the form assist, and then we'll take a minute to recover. Because after we take this sort of minute to look at form assist, really feel out and get, a, get a, our form down in with form assist, I want, we're going to focus on stroke rate, and I want your form to be dialed in. We just focused. Almost four minutes on four. All right, 15 seconds. Legs, body, arms, arms, body, legs. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, feel free to take a little break here if you need to. You can grab some water, wipe the sweat. Very good. All right, so next up, we are going to do a stroke rate build. And whenever you need to keep moving, you're free to keep moving. Uh, we're going to start in about 40 seconds. Maintain the easy intensity. So remember, intensity is moderated between stroke rate and how hard you drive, how hard you push away from the foot stretchers here. I want you to take it easy on the drive, all right? Not pushing the drive too hard. But we're going to start off at 18 to 22 stroke rate, easy intensity. You can use your personal pace targets above pace, all right? We're going to be there easy for a minute at 18 to 22, then we'll build it up from there for four minutes, okay? We're going to build stroke rate, not intensity. So 18 to 22 stroke rate, easy intensity in five, four, three, two, and one. Nice and easy for a minute, 18 to 22. Good. So we've dialed in our form, right? We should know how, our, how good form feels right now. So let's focus on really getting stroke rate control and maintaining an easy pace. Now, if your pace starts to creep up as our stroke rate increases every minute, that's okay, but try to try to keep your drive as easy as possible, right? So if you're shifting the monitor, that's okay, but try to stay easy. Beautiful. We've got about 25 seconds, and we're gonna go from this 18 to 22 stroke rate. And then we're going to go to 20 to 24 stroke rates, a little faster. I like starting slow and then working to a quicker stroke rate. It teaches you how to control your stroke. All right, nice and tall. Legs by arms, arms by legs. Let's go to 20 to 24 stroke rate in three, two, and one. So try to keep your stroke rate above 20. Try to keep it below 24. You can follow me if you like. Just row when I'm rowing. Try to keep it below 24. I don't know about you, when I first started rowing, I get on, I get on a on an urge machine or whatever, and I get on there and I just start cranking away like crazy. <laughs> it wasn't until I slowed down and really felt the stroke 
After you make a lot of progress, when you slow down and you control your stroke rate, you start to really feel the different parts of the stroke, and it's like you can really make some great progress, all right? So taking the stuff we learned during warm-up and applying it right now. We have about 15 seconds. And then we'll start the last two minutes of our stroke rate build. Next up, we're going at 22 to 26. In three, two, and one. So a little faster, 22 to 26 stroke rate. Nice. Good job, everybody. It's like swinging a tennis racket sometimes, right? You can swing a tennis racket real hard, but unless you have great control, the ball's not going to go where you want it to go. Same thing in rowing, all right? You're gonna have, you can row really hard, but unless you have great form and technique, go with the, the metrics you want. All right, about 30 seconds. And then we'll go for the last minute, or last minute, we're going to 24 and 28. Nice. Sit nice and tall, nice strong in the core. Keeping your eye on stroke rate. Because we've got form under control every so often. Just want to give a little look to the forces, that's fine. All right, three, two, and one. Last minute, let's zoom a little bit here. 24 and 28 stroke rate. Twenty-four to twenty-eight stroke rate. You can row with me if you like. I'm holding a twenty-five right now. Try to keep your drive as easy as possible. If you're creeping into a moderate intensity, that's okay. But try to keep it easy. Thirty seconds. Still, we'll take a recovery. Beautiful. Woo. Twenty seconds. Last 15. Last 10. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, get some water. Wipe the sweat if you need to. Totally fine. Woo! We got about 30, uh, not 30. One minute until we start our next part. Last part of class, we're going to do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, four times, all right? 30 on, 30 off. The first two efforts will be moderate intensity. The last two efforts will be challenging intensity. You can use your personal pace targets on your touch screen, or you can try to estimate it, guesstimate it as best you can. Moderate should feel like 50 to 70% of your max. We're going to be at a stroke rate of 20 to 24. Remember how we moderate intensity. Stroke rate and your drive, how hard your drive is, how hard your push is, okay? I'm giving you stroke rates, only 20 to 24. The rest of that needs to come from your drive, okay? Moderate for 30 seconds, we start in five. Give me good form, give me a stroke rate between 20 and 4, 24, moderate intensity, three, two, and one. Give me 30 seconds, moderate intensity, moderate intensity, 50 to 70% of your max. If you look at your personal pace target, try to get that right into moderate, the whole different 30 seconds. Last 15. Last 10. Three, two, and one. All right, take, take it easy. Easy 30 seconds. We're not going to put the handle down. Just take it easy 30 seconds. Easy, easy strokes. 18 to 22. So the song is called Try Again. We're going to try again. 30 seconds again. Uh, 50 to 70% of your max modern intensity, same stroke rate, 20 to 24. Let's try it again. Let's make it look better. In eight, four, three, two, and one. Modern intensity, 30 seconds. Let's go. Make it look better. Modern intensity, you got it. 50 to 70% of your max. 15, you got it. Last 10. Last 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 
easy strokes, 18 and 22. Easy strokes, let's keep rowing here. And we have two left, challenging twice. 70 to 90% of your max, right? Not, not full gas here. Just 70, 90, 70 to 90% of your max. Stroke rate, I want you to keep it between 22 and 26, and the rest of it, I want coming from your drive, all right? Here we go. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds challenging. Let's push for 30. A little bit harder, a little bit faster stroke rate, a little bit harder in the drive. Challenging intensity in your personal pace target. We're 70 to 90% of your max. Explode off the catch. 10 seconds. Five. If you need to take water, get water, it's fine. 18 to 22. Try again. One left. Last one. Here we go. 8 15. Last one. And then after this, we're going to do an easy stroke to the finish line in 10. In 5, 4, 3, Two and one, 30 seconds, 79% back, your max. Short break, 22 to 26. Let's go, challenging intensity. Look ahead, 20 seconds. Fifteen, you got it, 10 seconds. Last eight. Four, three. Two and one easy strokes to the finish line. 18 to 22. Easy strokes. Good job, everybody. Last 15. Woo, and we're going to go right over descending cool down in 10. Good. Five, four, three. Two and one. All right, nice, easy, light strokes. Sitting recovery, 18 to 22. All right, so great job today. We practiced working on our form right from the get-go. Then we worked on stroke control. We did a build in our stroke rate, right? And hopefully it helped you get a little bit more control. I call it neuromuscular coordination on your stroke rate control. And then we did some building, and then we did some intensity work there at the end. So good job. Do about 30 more seconds here, and then we'll put the hand away, we'll do a little stretch and let you go. After class, make sure you take a look at your form insights. See how you did today holding your form, especially after we went through that calibration exercise early in. I'm just kidding. Synced up with everything today, but remember you can always recalibrate your uh, pharmacist as well. Three, two, and one. Let's put the hand away. Nice. Remember, if you're if you're if and when you're done with your your rower today, you can always put it up against the wall and secure it with the anchor. Super important. Good stuff. So I'd like to sit up a little bit straighter here. Tilt that pedal forward. Sit up tall. Twist for a second. This is not our post row stretch. This is just a little something to get you heading in the right direction. Other side, same thing. Good work. All right, arms up, stretch. One thing you do with your arms up top is you can start to rotate your wrist and bring your hands together like this. And you can lean to one side. Into the other. And relax, all right? Don't let this be the end of your stretch. Make sure you check out your post row stretch. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to our next session together. Remember, train hard, train smart, and always have fun. Thank you. All right, thank you, Matt. Insights, my form insights. We'll go to that. That was fun for my first ever rowing exercise let's see body activity 
It says 13% was from glutes and hamstrings and quads, 9% core, 9% hips, other muscles 43%. Here's my form. 75% more than your typical form rating of whatever. Um, the catch was 55%, drive was 76, finish was 97, recover 72. Okay. So good details here about what I used, how the graph went, watts, stroke rate. Um, average was 16, pace, I don't know what these mean yet. I'm just curious about, when I was going through this, I was really focusing on just watching the motion. It took me a while to get into a rhythm of uh, push, pushing back, leaning back, and then the, uh, the pull in. What's that called? <laughs> I don't even know what it's called yet. Uh, the catch, was that the catch? Or that, the, that was the finish. Anyhow, that's a, this is fun. I'm looking forward to doing more of these. It's almost a little meditative, you know, focusing on what I gotta do here I got a little bit of a sweat going on, but I like it. And there you go, a beginner rower class, rowing class on the Peloton. Let me know your thoughts about this, uh, my first time doing it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Adios, happy rowing. <laughs>